Hey guys, welcome back to the Brady Salcedo Show, and we got tips for you to improve your mind and your life, and today we got a special one for you. Do you consider yourself to be a generally lazy person, but just don't like that fact about yourself and would love to find more simple and practical ways to actually get more stuff done and just to simply be more productive? Well, you're in luck because today I got for you the Lazy Person's Guide to Getting More Productive. And today we're gonna to be going over the top five ways lazy people can start getting more productive using these five simple, powerful steps. So stay tuned, let's get going. All right, so tip number one is to find a time that generally works well for you. And what I mean is some people work better in the morning, some people work better in the evenings. Everybody's gonna be different and some of that actually comes down to your genetics. So with that, I highly recommend taking a quiz called the Power of Now quiz. You can find it in the description down below and it's a really powerful quiz that will help you understand what's called your sleep type. He has four different types of sleep types which just determines what kind of sleeper you are depending on your lifestyle, your genetics, and a variety of other factors. But the powerful thing about understanding the sleep type, it was it will help you understand based on that sleep type, when do you tend to be most productive and you can compile all the work that you wanna do and accomplish within those times that's best going to fit for you. I took the quiz myself and I ended up scoring as a lion. And a lion is generally more of a morning person. They're most productive in the morning, but when it comes to the evening, they are far less productive and tend to burn out much faster towards the evening. So what that helps me understand is that I'm better at stacking most of my more important tasks in the morning because that's when I tend to be most productive based on my sleep type. Tip number two is to create what I call a work zone. And in this zone, this is gonna be a space specifically in your home, your apartment, wherever it might be, where you are just going to focus on work in that space. So what this means is this can't be your couch where you watch Netflix. It can't be in the bed where you scroll social media. It needs to be a different space in the house, whether that's a desk, place at the kitchen table, whatever it might be, where you can specifically focus on your work. And in this space, there's a couple things to consider. You want a place where you can really block all distractions out. So preferably not by a window or maybe you can see cars passing by. You don't want it to be a place where there's a lot of foot traffic so you're getting distracted by people. You really want it you know, kind of quarantined off from everything else so you can really focus on your work. There's also a science-backed reason why we do this. Your brain has a tendency to compartmentalize different sections of your home. And so when it enters a certain space, such as your home, you tend to be more relaxed, more comfortable. When you go into the office, you tend to be a little bit more high strung, a little bit more anxious. Your brain starts to create these wiring patterns based on the environment that you are in. So when you create a work zone, it helps your brain get into that mode of being more productive and getting stuff done so much faster when you have a designated space for it. But if your work zone's in the bed, the couch, places where you also relax, it's harder for your brain to actually trigger that response to get more productive. Now, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to smash that like button down there to help more awesome people like you find videos like this that are gonna help them improve their mind and their life. Let's keep going. Tip number three is to use lists. Now, you may not be a list person, you may not have a to-do list generally, but if you tend to be a generally lazy person, there's two reasons why we wanna use lists. One is we don't want our brain to have to think about what it has to accomplish next. We wanna already have it laid out what's gonna be the next thing on our to-do list, and the more we can accomplish those and start to knock those out in order, it saves your brain so much time and willpower of having to try to figure out what do I need to do next. It can just immediately shift over into the next thing and that helps you skyrocket your productivity and get more done in less time. The second reason we wanna do this is as your brain starts seeing to-do lists get knocked out, it actually triggers a dopamine response. Dopamine is the reward activator in your brain. It makes you feel really good about it, but also it's your motivation chemical in your brain that triggers you to get more motivated. So as you start seeing those checks on your to-do list, those little scratch marks on your to-do list come off and you're accomplishing these activities, it creates actually a visceral response in your brain that actually makes you want to accomplish more and achieve more and helps you hack your brain to become more productive. Tip number four is to work in 20 minute increments. Now, if you tend to generally be a lazy person, the thought of trying to sit down for three to four hours to try to accomplish everything on your to-do list is gonna feel very overwhelming. So an easy hack around this is to break up your work into 20 minute chunks with 10 minute breaks in between. 
The reason for this is when your brain sees this big sign of, hey, I gotta work for three to four hours, what your brain's gonna do is it's gonna think of it more like a marathon and it's gonna space your work and productivity out over those three to four hours. But if you break it into 20 minute chunks, your brain's gonna look at that more as a sprint and it's gonna help you be more productive with a smaller chunk because it knows it's gonna have that rest time of 10 minutes to do whatever you need to before it goes into that next sprint. And trust me, you're gonna find you're gonna be far more productive in those 20 minutes than you would if you were to break it up over the course of an hour. And number five, make sure you save your most important tasks for the morning. Or if you've taken the Power of Now quiz, save your more important tasks for when you tend to be the most productive. Because we want our higher, more complex, more detailed tasks that we really need a lot of brain power for, during those times that we're most productive, and we want to save things that are more menial, easier tasks, whether that's responding to emails, doing some design work, just responding to people. We want to save those for times when we don't want as much brain power, usually when our brain's more tired, because that's going to allow you to stack the more critical, important activities for when you have the most energy, and save the things that are easier for when your brain's already more tired, and that's going to allow you to really accomplish so much more during your day just by understanding when do you tend to be the most productive and stacking those most important tasks during those times. The best part about using these five tips is the more you start to use them, your brain starts to create this wiring pattern that makes it easy to accomplish these in the future. And guess what? Over time, you may start to find yourself turning from a lazy person to a more productive person. Hey, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Hopefully this will help you get more productive. And if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you check out some of these videos over here. They're pretty good. I think you might like them. But until then, I will see you guys in the next episode.